guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nisha if you're new here and in today's video we are finally doing episode 2 of cake and cocktails so I started a series on my channel to combine my love of cake aka makeup and cocktails because mama needs a drink and if you didn't know I used to be a bartender in my past lifetime I bartended my way through college so I love cocktails making cocktails I love going out to bars drinking specialty cocktails craft cocktails and all the concoctions love it so I thought this would be a fun way to still do makeup like I always do but have a fun way to get inspiration again if you're new here welcome my name is Naisha I'm a mom of two and every now and then I like to enjoy a little, a little cocktail a little glass of wine to unwind and as I said before I used to be a bartender so I like to try different recipes perfect older recipes and just you know mix it up every now and again so in today's episode of cake and cocktails uh, the day that I'm uploading today I'm actually meeting up with one of my girlfriends I haven't seen in a while we're just gonna sit chat have some dinner have a couple of cocktails and catch up so I figured today's cocktail could be the quintessential girlfriend cocktail the Cosmo so if you're in my age group area <laughs> and you grew up on sex in the city you know that is the quintessential girlfriends out in the town having a drink back in my party days back in my clubbing days when i was out lounging i remember that was the only thing i would drink it would always be a cosmo and my first official drink that i made at a bar after getting my bartending license was a Cosmo. I really do enjoy a good Cosmo. It's a little bit sweet, a really crisp, fresh, and easy drink. So, of course, if you are 21 years and over and you're interested in seeing me create this cocktail, and then we're gonna do a look inspired by the Cosmo. If you're not interested in the cocktail at all, I'll leave a timestamp on the screen where you can go straight to the makeup look. And, but yeah, if you want to see how I create this drink, it's pretty simple. If you want to see how I create it and we can sip on a little something before we do our makeup, please keep on watching. So before we start, I want to show you this cute set that I got on Amazon. I'm the only person in my house that drinks. Uh, my husband's sober and then I have kids. So I don't really have like cocktails. I just go out and get whatever I need. But since I started this series, I figured it would be this will be something that I would need and of course I love rose gold a lot of the stuff in my house are copper and rose gold so I got the rose gold one I got this on Amazon if you're interested in checking it out I'll link it in my Amazon store down below the entire set comes with the shaker a muddler a strainer a spoon uh, ice thing a bottle opener two pours and a measuring cup it also comes with two straws and the cleaning brushes for it and it comes in this really cute holder so you can display it if you want to and then also it comes with a book that has classic cocktail recipes so we have mojito old-fashioned the rattlesnake mint julep real classic uh, cocktails and actually in here we have the cosmopolitan so per the ingredients we're going to need uh, citron vodka I am going to use absolute citron is one of my favorite ones okay the recipe also calls for a half ounce of Cointreau which is an orange flavored liqueur you can also use Grand Marnier like I used in my last cocktail but today I'm actually going to be using a uh, triple sec you can use triple sec there is an alcoholic cordial version this is a non-alcoholic version that I get at Walmart it's premium triple triple sec syrup so it basically is orange flavored cranberry juice uh, I grabbed this and I didn't realize it was cran raspberry but it's close enough to cran as we have right now and fresh lime juice so the first thing you want to do is frost your glass I actually did not have martini glasses and I had to buy this at the Dollar Tree which they have some really good solid glasses for a dollar I have a lot of stuff from them and it's actually really good so first thing we're gonna do is frost our glass to frost your glass you can either put it in the freezer and leave it there for a little while and it gets nice and cold and frosty or you can just take some ice put it in your glass and then fill it up with some water and then now we're gonna set that to the side while our glass gets nice and frosty next we're gonna put some ice in our shaker and then we're going to add our vodka I'm not gonna be precise with the measurements because uh, I basically go by taste but it's basically an ounce and a half of vodka half ounce of 
triple sec or Cointro or Grand Marnier, something orange flavored. And then we're going to put in an ounce of, well, the recipe calls for an ounce of cranberry juice, but I'm not the biggest fan of cranberry juice. I just want mine to be nice and light, so I put a half ounce of cranberry juice. And then a half ounce of fresh lime juice. I'm basically just going to do half a lime. So I'm going to cut this one in half. And just we're going to squeeze it in. You know, to help the juices uh, come out easier and faster, and most of the juice will come out, you can actually either put your lime in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then it will give you much, a lot more juice, or you can just roll it on the counter, and that helps to soften it up a little bit. Okay, now that we have all the ingredients inside, we're gonna shake it up, get it nice and chill. And then we grab our glass that has been frosting, we dump that out. And as you can see, the glass is pretty frosty around the side. And then we're going to pour it in. And as you can see, it's a nice light pink. I like mine to be on the lighter side, not too red. Uh, typically, it's a little bit more red, but I like it to be nice and light. I'm not the biggest fan of cranberry juice. And then for garnish, we're just going to put a nice little half lime wedge right on the end of the edge of the glass. Like this. And here we have our Cosmo. Cheers. So it's nice, light, refreshing, nicely chilled, very limey, citrusy. Not too sweet, just a little bit of sweetness, uh, but you don't really get like a hard vodka taste. That's why it's such a girly drink. Why it's such a girlfriend's out in the night, out in the town drinking because it's just, it's almost like a lemonade. Or limeade at this point um, but you know of course be careful because too many of these will have you on your ass but yeah just sipping on this reminds me back in the day out in the city with my girlfriends lounging talking about our nightmares around dating so yeah definitely let me know if you try this cocktail and what do you think and now let's go put some makeup on okay and now we're back we're ready to put some makeup on first of course I'm gonna take a sip of my cocktail because then what's the point? So good. Okay, so for today's look, I wanted to try out this Tis the Season palette from Lurella. So I got this in my Bijou Beauty box. That The one that this came in is already up, but I have another box that just came in. If that's up already, I'll link it if you haven't seen it. So this is the palette. Look at all those beautiful reds and lighter tones so i definitely want to jump into that but then also i'm probably going to use a couple of shades from this shades of roses palette from b bella cosmetics this palette is so absolutely gorgeous and the shades are just so beautifully pigmented i'm probably going to use this if i need to deepen up the look with these colors and then i'm definitely going to go in with this glitter I zoomed it in a little bit more so we can see the eyes a little bit clearer. First thing I'm going to do is dive right into this nice bright red called Peppermint. And we're going to go right into the crease with this. I'm going to do a bit of a halo eye so I'm just going to make it sort of rounded like this. And then we're going to come in the inner corner and in the outer V. With that first dip, that red already has like a lot of pigment, so that's really nice. I forgot that I have the rest of my face already done, so I need to tap off the exit excess because there's going to be a lot of fallout. As you can already see, there's some fallout right here. Hopefully I can get it off. Yes, I'm just going to build up that color right here in the grease. So I figured it would be a fun time to talk about some crazy girls' night out stories. So if you have any crazy girls night out stories where you and some girlfriends went out and some crazy stuff went down maybe somebody ended up in jail let us know down below entertain us please the one that i that happened with me and my friends that i will always remember uh if you're in the new york new jersey area uh there used to be a place called la marina uh so it was a riverside restaurant and to be honest the food wasn't even that great the only reason we went there was for the vibe. It really had a really good vibe. So, you know, we were single, we were hanging out, there were cute guys, uh, drinks were reasonably priced and strong. 
and you know almost every Sunday or almost every Sunday we would go hang out there we would grab some food and then we'll hang out on their deck they had this really beautiful deck you sit there you smoked hookah you had some drinks you know a really good time and you would see lots of groups of girlfriends like sitting around there was also an extended deck where that's where the celebrities and the people who wanted to waste their money on like bottles would sit so literally the minimum you had to spend over there was like a thousand dollars me and two of my girlfriends are not going to spend a thousand dollars on drinks we have to drive home this one sunday in particular and if i can remember it was in 2013 i'm going to blend out the edges with this color which is jingle bells nice peachy nude color yep so you know we had brunch then we went there and we had we had some more drinks we're sitting on the deck we're smoking hookah we're having a good time and at the end of the night so it was five of us and my best friend and I drove together in my car you know they carpooled two of the girls carpooled from central Jersey one lived in Newark one lived in Elizabeth so they carpooled together and the other girl lived in the Bronx so she just went home when it was time to go normally after you're you know you're sitting on a deck drinking and smoking hookah for a while you get a little hungry and we just had this um, habit of when we leave there we would go get a snack somewhere so there was this restaurant on Dykeman, that's the name of the street that it was on, the area. Google Dykeman, you know what I'm talking about. They had the best arepas. It was so good. It was tasty. And I wanted an arepa. Besides the fact that after we left, I needed to use the bathroom. So I figured we'll go to this restaurant, I'll get to use the bathroom, and we'll get some arepas, and then we'll head home. So we said, everybody jump into my car. We'll drive to the restaurant, get the arepas, and then we'll take them back to their car and they can go home. Also for the fact that, you know, we were drinking and you, you know, there's, I don't know if it's the truth or there's a myth where if you get a little something to eat, it'll help you sober up. So I guess that's why we had the habit of after having some drinks just to make sure we always had, there was always a designated driver, but still I didn't want to go home drunk. And my best friend was the driver. Uh, so I wanted to go get my arepa. So we're saying, come, let's go get something to drink. Let's go get something to eat before we go. And we felt that she might have had a little bit too much to drink. And she was driving all the way back to Elizabeth. So we were like, yeah, let's definitely go get something to eat. Okay, next I'm going to deepen up that inner and outer corner with Jolly. But she, she was fighting us like every step of the way. She didn't want to go. She wanted to go in her own car. And we, you know, trying to be the good friends that we are, trying to say to her, no, let's go get something to eat. You can sober up a little bit. We'll sit, we'll chat, you know, so everybody will be safe going home. And then also she was taking home one of our girlfriends. So we wanted to make sure that everybody was okay. So we almost, you know, we made sure everybody got into my car. And at the time I was driving a two door, um, a two door a little car just two doors because it was just me i didn't, didn't have kids didn't have a boyfriend just my me and my little two door so we had uh both of them in the back i my best friend was driving and then i was in the passenger seat so we drive i want to say this is literally five ten minutes away from la marina we drive over there to the spot to get the arepas and i went in so i was like i'm gonna buy the food because i had to go use the bathroom so all the time she's complaining in the back, I just want to go home, I just want to be in my car, I don't want to be here. And we're just trying to say, okay, we're going to go home in a second, we just want to grab some food. So I leave the car, and I go into the restaurant, and I go to the bathroom. Now at this point, my phone is on 1%. I get into the bathroom, and I realize my phone that was in my bag rang, I had like four missed calls. So I'm looking at it, and I, I get onto the phone, I answer the phone, and my phone dies within seconds all i can hear is this girl jumped out the car so i'm like what well, i'm so confused so i use the bathroom i run out to the um car and as i get to my car everybody's sitting outside the two girlfriends are sitting in the back my best friend is uh, driving and they're all sitting there quiet nobody's talking everything's okay so I'm confused. So I give my best friend my phone, which was dead, and she gave me her phone. She said, here, I'll call you on this phone. So I take her phone, 
and she told me to read the text messages. So essentially she was texting me, texting my dead phone, which I couldn't read. So essentially what happened is the friend who insisted that she wanted to just get into her car and drive home, jumped out the window of my car. Now, like I said, I have a two door. There are no back windows. It's just the two front windows. So apparently she stepped into the passenger seat and then stepped out the window. And then she started walking down the street and my best friend was like, you know what, whatever, let her go. But it wasn't until she stopped what was supposed to be a taxi, trying to talk to the guy to give her a ride back to her car, which was literally like five minutes away. That's when my best friend was like, you know, definitely not. We're not about to have her kidnapped. So she ran down to the taxi, stopped the car from driving off and told her to get out the car and come back to my car. Now, while all of this is happening, I'm in the bathroom. So by the time I come back, everybody is sitting in the car. And I always say like they're all sitting in the car like good little children, like nothing's going on. So that left me with a lot of confusion until my best friend like explained exactly what happened to me and I started reading the text messages where she was saying that the girl where she was saying that she jumped out the car window. Now of course I'm super confused because like I said, like how how did she jump out the window? She must be really flexible. This camera is so annoying. It cut off. I'm not quite sure where it cut off. But what I was saying is that, you know, my best friend was just so upset at her for trying to insinuate that we would kidnap her and put us in a very dangerous position when we were literally just trying to be good friends and make sure that you were okay um, to get home. So they didn't speak for years. I still spoke to her, but I kind of kept her at arm's length after that time because um, that just wasn't cool at all. Okay, so now we have our halo going and then I'm going to go right in the middle with this glitter. It's a pretty chunky glitter, but it is so beautiful. There's a little bit of pinkiness in there, some gold, just so, so pretty. Yeah, like I was saying, I still talked to her, but I kept her at arm's length because, uh, you know, what she did wasn't cool. And eventually, after time, um, we started kind of speaking to her again. My best friend started speaking to her again. But she ended up moving away to, where did she go? Not Minnesota, Kansas City. Where's Kansas? Kansas City, Missouri? And we kind of lost touch. She moved back to this area, but, you know with me having kids and not really going out or whatever and she's single um you know we just kind of lost touch really yeah so that's just one of my crazy stories while going out while being a party girl out in the town before i tried settling becoming a mother and settling down that place is closed down now because there was always some drama. I've been there when there were fights. Um, one of my girlfriends fainted. We had to call the ambulance. Uh, so people getting shot, security getting shot. As the years went on, I started going there less and less because it was just more and more drama. The last thing I heard is that they actually got shut down for serving minors, alcohol, which I can definitely see that because when when the girls went there when I tell you they were decked out because like I said on the deck there were football players, basketball players, French Montana came in a boat one time, Busta Rhymes so it was somewhat of a celebrity hangout spot so when the girls went there the girls showed out and I, I felt like when I went there a lot of the girls did seem pretty young but you know, it's not my place. And then of course, you know, after getting married and having children, it's just not the thing you do. Okay, so here we are with our halo eye. That's nice and bright. Perfect for our Saturday night out, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take the same colors that I did in the crease and I'm gonna do it on the lower lash line. On the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with eggnog. All of these are um, Christmas themed because this palette came in my December Bijou Beauty box. I 
that is a really beautiful peachy color. I like that. And then on the inner corner, we're going to go in with the sparkle. It's night white. Nice white shimmer color. It's a really bright inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to leave the look here for now. I'm going to do liner and lashes. I'm going to take a sip of my Cosmo. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and here I am back with the completed look. Okay, so full disclosure, this is several days later because I did lose the outro footage. So that's why my hair is a little bit different, but I did recreate the look as closely as I could. And I really enjoyed this look, so I had no problem doing it again. My face makeup is also different. If you're interested in what I'm wearing, I'm wearing the entire L'Oreal Age Perfect line. And all my comments and thoughts of it are on my TikTok. My TikTok is linked down below, you can check it out. But yeah, essentially here is the finished look. I had some lashes, liner and mascara and i think this is like the perfect friday night saturday night out uh girls night out look unfortunately i don't have any more cosmo really quickly on the palette so this is my first time using the tis to season palette really enjoyed this the red mattes in here are beautiful i uh, highly recommend these lorella palettes i've used other lorella palettes and i really really enjoyed them and of course my bay this B Bella Shades of Roses palette. I absolutely love this. The shades in here, the, the shadows in here are really, really good. That uh, glitter, absolutely love it. So I highly recommend this as well. I bought another B Bella palette, so I'm going to be trying that out really soon. It's a pastel palette, so I'm excited to dig into that one really, really soon. But yeah, that's it. That's all I have for this look. Uh, again, let me know your crazy girls night out stories down below i know mine wasn't too crazy because nobody ended up in jail thank goodness you know it's definitely one that i'll always remember definitely one for the book um i think some of the nuances about the story that i didn't mention as i was telling it was that you know the whole thing with her saying that she was gonna like she was accusing them of kidnapping her like that really didn't sit well with my best friend that's why they they didn't talk for years and the funny thing is after we finally let her go in her car she texts me the next morning and says that she stopped at Burger King so she can get something to eat and sober up and I'm like that's exactly what we were doing you were so uncomfortable you jumped out the car window on Dykeman to run into an unknown taxi because that was much safer than being with us your friends yes if you have any fun stories please let us know down below if you are a server and you've seen some crazy things happen also please let us know down below please entertain us and uh yeah if you love this look of course give this video a thumbs up if you recreate this look or if you make some cosmos this weekend definitely let me know tag me on instagram and yeah that's all i have for this video until our next cake and cock please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!